Hello and welcome to Riverside Crafts today. Today I'm going to show you how I made this little decoupage card. Again using the same stamp as I've been using for the last two, which is um, a cactus stamp by Woodware, designed by Francois Reid. I decided to do four projects with this stamp, basically to show that you can use them doing different things. So to give you more ideas to what to do with your stamp. So basically I've got a square card and I've cut an aperture out of it. Um, and then I've stamped my stamp th three or four times so I'm going to show you how I do to start with so here we go stamping platform cardstock with a square cut out the middle and then I've stuck my piece of watercolor card onto the inside of my cardstock there's a reason by that in a second I can show you now is that when I'm going to put my on here I can square it up so it sits inside my aperture nicely and also it means that when I come to do my stamping it'll be in the right place I'm not going to have to try and line it up afterwards it's already done for me I'm using um, Versafine Claire again um, this one is the, the black one again it's one of my favorite inks to use when doing watercolor techniques um, the Versafine pigment pads are fairly easy to stamp with by comparison to some of the alcohol based pads which um, you have to be a lot quicker with and I'm not necessarily a fast stamper so this one so anyway welcome for joining me today it's nice to see you all um, if you have any questions while I'm doing the demo please leave all of your queries um, in the comments and I will then try and answer them later if they haven't already been answered by somebody else from Riverside. You can see I missed a bit, so that's one of the nice things about using my platform, is I can go back in and just push down where I missed and get it again. There we go, that's better. Right, so, stamped. I also stamped it three more times, just onto watercolour cardstock. Okay, and then I painted them, and I'm going to show you how I've painted them. So I shall paint this one for you so you can see how I've done it. Um, I've got all my colours here on my mat, and I can tell you what they are as I use them. Okay, so just so that you, you know. I've got a tissue to take off any excess water onto, so I'm not covering up. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, watercolour cardstock. Now, I use this which is called gold line we have it in the shop as you can see it's quite a thick pad when you first buy it um i have used lots of mine and um, one of the best things is although it's a, a reasonable outgo when you first do it because there are over there's 100 sheets in there um you've got plenty to play at to investigate and to learn which sort of takes away some of the stress sometimes so that makes it a bit easier right so i've got this one is peeled paint i'm just going to do my center cactus with this okay now when i'm doing um, a, as decoupage i choose out of the elements which ones are going to be at the front and which ones are going to be at the back okay so the element in my decoupage that's going to be front and center on the last piece i cut out is going to be my cactus so it's going to be this okay this one will be second and this one is going to be the third one so this one's the one i cut out i cut out least if that makes sense it's just going to be there the once all right so i've covered it the peel paint now i'm going to do this one here and i'm using rustic wilderness to do this okay so i'm just going to give that a, a bit of a, a coat over okay as you can see i'm not being ultra neat or tidy or um overly concerned about it at the moment because i'm just literally coloring in and putting some color down right i can do this one now and i'm going to use twisted citron which is a bright green an acid -y green to start with um because it will just give me my lighter green in the middle when i finish okay so this is my twisted citron going on all the way up there i mean really nice bright green this is one of my favorites okay so that's that one right now I'm just going to put my flowers in. Now these yellow flowers will only actually, they won't be cut out anywhere. They'll actually only be on this piece of cardstock. So I'm just going to make sure I take my time to paint those in. So I'm just going to put some yellow down. 
and I'm using um, mustard seed to do this so these are going to be a nice bright yellow okay so I've put my first one down all right now I'm going to just pick up some of the pink to do these ones and this is picked raspberries I think if I remember rightly it's one of my favorite pinks it's a real bright vibrant pink Okay, here we go. So that's those done for a minute. Now I'm going to paint my base bowl while everything else is just drying for a minute, okay? So my base bowl here. Now I've got my, I've done my other bits. So I want to show you now what I mean by how I've cut them out. All right, so these have been painted already. As you can see, this is the next layer for decoupage and it's going to sit just there and the yellow flowers are going to sit behind it but just so that you can't definitely can't see any of these edges underneath i'm just going to give this bowl a quick layer of color just because it will help it um when i'm coming to lay everything on top of it you're not going to see anything that you shouldn't be seeing underneath it and it's going to, going to feel a bit more like it should do okay so i'm just going to follow my color this one here is um wilted violet that i'm using at the moment it's a nice purple which is quite good. Okay, now I'm going to be using Blueprint Scratch, which is a real deep blue. Okay, pull that one in there. It goes around this piece here. I've got a bit on the base and a bit there. Right, rinse my brush again. Um, the next one is this orangey colour, which is um, ripe persimmon. I'm just going to take this up here. Okay, I'll well, stand that for a minute. Okay, now I'm going to use a little bit of the yellow and put some here and some here. And I'm also going to go back with my yellow. Put a little bit more up here to make that a little bit more vibrant. There we go. That will do for a minute. Um, what other colour am I going to use? My reds. Let's put my reds in. I've got a red here. Red there. Another red bit here. And a red bit here. Right. I'm not going to worry about the bits in the middle because you're not really going to see them in the same way. Okay. Now, there's no push point me messing around and putting my shadow onto this particular one because you're not going to see the shadow on that so i'm going to come to this one now because this one's going to be my next layer going on okay so it's going to sit there and my flowers are going to be behind it so i need to put some shadow here on these leaves because these are the, going to be what's going to be left after it so i'm just going to bring in with some of the rustic wilderness and put a little bit on the edge of these leaves just to give them a little bit more shape a little bit of the forest moss right at the base so they've got a little bit darker in there okay and that's then that one complete so i'm just going to stick that one in place i cut them out because i thought you're going to be really really bored with me cutting these all out okay so now i'm going to shape it slightly so i'm going to give it a bit of a bend Okay, I'm just going to give everything a little bit of a, a bend and a tease so that it just sits a bit better when I'm coming to do it. And I'm going to line it up as I put it down, okay? So that's that one down there first off. All right, so that's that leaf done there. Next one that's going on is this one, and it's going to sit there. As you can see, I've cut those leaves out. So these are my next leaves that I'm going to be counting on and the edges of the bowl. So I'm just going to put some more colour in here for a minute. Let me just get my... The bright green wants to go down the centre here again. Look at that. Really waking it up. Because it does, doesn't it? Got a real nice bright lime green coming in. Okay. I'm just going to get some purple and put it along this edge because there's nothing. I've not quite managed to catch this edge in. Got too much water in my brush. And I could do the same on the other side in a moment. There we go. And on the base. There we are. That's that bit done. And I need to put a little bit more blue along this edge. 
Okay, so I'm just going to put a bit more blue along this edge because it's a bit pale. Right, so that's a little bit better there. Again, I'm just going to bend this and give it a bit more shape to go on. Okay, and I've got my foam tape stuck on the back. All right, so we're doing quite, doing really good for time here today. That's easy. Makes a change, doesn't it? It's been a bit windy this week, hasn't it? A bit colder, or it is for me today anyway. There we go. So put that on there. Now we can start to see how we're building up our layers. So this is my final layer. As you can see, I've got a lot of more vibrancy here and a little bit more colour on my cactus. I'm just going to carry on with that and work a little bit more into that cactus at the front. So I want it to have a bit more of a, um, a blended feel and a bit more shape to it. So I'm just going to put a little bit more colour in it. Okay, a little bit of the dark is coming in. I'm going to put it on this edge here, right the way right down here, and on that bit there. Right. So I'm trying to decide where I'd have my shadow the most. I tend to think about it at the base of each of the pair, the prickly pear pieces because it would look better. I'm just going to bring it some of the picked raspberry and just put a bit more on my flower tips so that they're really bright now you could keep these very bright and glossy if you wanted to when you've done it all and put a little bit of glossy accents on it and that would really lift it um, but it's that's sort of up to you and me personal choice when you're doing it right so I'm just going to put a bit more blue on this edge here to bring this up and brighten it up okay so let's put some blue in a bit more on here, a bit here, and do the stripe, rinse that off. Let's pick up some violet. I'm just going to go on the edges a bit more to give it the feel here that I've got a bit darker, a little bit more shadow. Okay, so I'm doing okay here, so it's starting to get some more shape in it. And I'm just going to put some of this red. Um, the persimmon along the base here to give it that feel of it having a bit of a, a shadow because it's sort of at the base where it's sort of got a bit of a thing. So I'm just going to take that off there a minute and I'm just going to do a gentle blend of it so it looks a bit more. Okay, so that's that done. I'm just going to shape my prickly pear a little bit so it's all sort of got a bit of a bend on it, which means I'm just sort of giving it a bit of a, a, a bend and a tip here and there. Okay, so... Right, so that's now going to sit just here. Okay, so now you can see that I've got my my decoupage built up. Now I've got some put some colour around it because I was going to look a bit a little bit pale. Now I don't like to do, I don't drop a lot of water in when I do it like this. So I tend to do um, a sort of a this is the um, speckled egg. I'm just using a blending brush, just lightly going around the outside edge, just to give it a little bit of the blue just sort of sitting in and not too much just a bit okay, doing really well I'm just going to bend it back there a minute because I don't really want my other cards stop checking on the blue. I'm only looking at it being on for the thing. Okay. Right, so that does that quite nicely, like so. And that's got that a nice sort of tint of blue, a little bit more at the top, I think. That's not bad. Right, so some cards gonna come across like so. Now I'm gonna need my fine liner. I'm just going to put um, a set of faux stitching around the inside edge here. Okay, so I'm just going to go around and do my faux stitching.
One of the things I like to do is I finish off with three little crosses at the end of my faux stitching. So it just sort of finishes it off for me. So that's done that a little bit quite nicely. All right. So that is, it is so simple to do. So you're literally, you're stamping it out four times. You color it on the base once. Then the next time you cut out everything except for the flowers. The following time you're cutting out everything except for one plant. The next time you cut everything out except for two plants. And then in the final one, you just cut, out, cut, cut out your final plant. And that gives you your decoupage quite happily and quite quickly to do as a card. So it doesn't take very long. Nicely, loosely coloured and not too much work, which is what we like for a quick card. Um, now, just while I'm thinking about it, I'll show you what we're going to be doing next time um, because I think it's something that's very different. It's we're going to be doing it onto fabric. So I'm going to be stamping on fabric. Um, I'm going to be using pixie powders and embroidery threads. And I'll show you how I get my finished piece to look sort of something like this um, and go from there. So I hope you join me next time. Um, this time's been nice and quick because it's it is a nice little quick technique, so it doesn't take too much to doing. And I hope you've enjoyed doing the other techniques. Thank you for those who shared your images of what you've done um, with the ideas that I've shared with you, because that's been lovely to see. Um, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.